Hi, I'm Skylar Town, competitive lock picker, founder of Open Lock Sport, and a professional security researcher. I'm here today to teach you about locks. Now, I love locks. I'm obsessed with them. The smell of brass and grease is invigorating to me. I even installed a small mini mill in my bedroom that I use just to cut locks. I want to teach you about locks, though, because generally people have very little idea of even the basics of how they work. And yet locks are everywhere. They're a huge part of our life. There are few things more ubiquitous in this world than locks. So, look around you. Think about all the locks you see on a daily basis. But if you don't know how they work, you don't know their failure modes, and you don't know how they could potentially be manipulated, or even the differences between different types of locks and what different security measures they might offer, then you can't make a real assessment of the security in your life. That's where I'd like to get to by the end of this class, where you can make an honest assessment of the security of your own life. So, to do that, we're going to cover several things. We're going to cover lock picking, and we're going to talk a lot about pin tumbler locks in particular, and a couple of advanced concepts too. But the lock picking is the big sticking part for some people, and I want to address the ethic of it right off the bat. I come out of the lock sport community, and we have a very strict line that we try to walk incredibly, incredibly straight. You never pick a lock you don't own, and you never pick a lock that's in use. The reason behind the first rule should be obvious. You don't pick a lock you don't own, or that you haven't been given the explicit permission by the owner to pick, because it's not yours. I mean, that's just kind of our don't be a dick rule. Number two, though, don't pick locks in use, because locks can break when you pick them. We'll talk about some of the failure modes later on in the course, but the important takeaway here is that once you've learned what I'm going to teach you, it's important that you don't go try to pick the lock on your front door or on anybody else's. So keep that in mind. Now, as to the legality of lock picking, it's going to be different for anywhere you are in the world. And even in a particular country, it'll be different between the different states of that country. In America, there are myriad laws throughout myriad states. Where I am, there's no problem walking around picking locks. I used to pick in a local park. I used to go down to the bar with my friends, have a drink, pick some locks with them. But there are other places where it's much more restrictive. So please check the local laws where you are to make sure that you're going to be okay to possess tools and to use tools. And generally, as long as you're working through this coursework in the privacy of your own home, and you're working on things there, you should be okay. But definitely check in with your local laws. LockWiki.com is going to be a good resource for a lot of things, but they also have uh, a primer gathering some basic information about laws in various states and a couple of different countries. Okay, with all of that covered, let's move on.